unsanitary throat swabs, forced COVID testing, and disgusting quarantine camps? Yep, the Chinese Communist Party has the virus totally under control. Welcome to China Uncensored, I'm Chris Chappell. The coronavirus, or what I call the CCP virus, is back in China. Not that it ever left, but now the Delta variant has spread to at least 15 Chinese cities, according to official data, which we all know is about as trustworthy as those phone calls telling you you want a free night's stay from Marriott Hilton. My point is, the CCP virus outbreak is probably a lot bigger than just those 15 cities. One of those cities is Wuhan, the original epicenter of the virus last year. They're trying to test 12 million people. How on earth can they test that many people in a few weeks? The answer is fully automated COVID testing. Just put your mouth right on the plastic and try not to gag as the CCP virus test bot shoves a swab down your throat. I just hope there's another bot that's going to be sanitizing that plastic thing everyone's putting their mouths on. Don't worry, you won't catch COVID this way, as long as no one ahead of you in line has COVID. And the best part, these machines can go anywhere. They're on wheels. Now you might think, I'll just stick to the manual PCR tests. Thank you very much. I mean, they're pretty streamlined, with patients in and out quick. So quick, that the people administering the tests don't even have time to change their gloves. You know, the more I look at China's efficient COVID testing, the more I'm concerned it's doing more spreading than detecting. So perhaps we should take China's officially reported COVID numbers with a grain of salt. And by a grain of salt, I mean a salt lick. Meanwhile, the Chinese Communist Party has been convincing the world that China has done a great job controlling COVID. This headline is in The Lancet, a peer-reviewed medical journal. The Lancet credits China's centralized epidemic response system. You know, the centralized epidemic response system that didn't work. And Nature Medicine, another peer-reviewed medical journal, says China's coronavirus response can teach the rest of the world. As I've talked about before, both Lancet and Nature Medicine have published opinion pieces to squash the lab leak hypothesis, the idea that the CCP virus could have come from the Wuhan Institute of Virology. And as I've also mentioned, the publishers of Lancet and Nature Medicine have business deals with China. Anyway, so what are some of these great teachings the rest of us are supposed to get from China? Well, for one, China has done an amazing job vaccinating a staggering 20 million people a day. Yes, according to Nature, scientists are impressed by China's juggernaut of a vaccination drive, through which it is currently administering nearly 60% of all COVID-19 vaccine doses globally. Amazing. And I'm impressed how everyone there agrees to get vaccinated even though a top official has admitted China's vaccines are not very effective. But it's easy to get people to agree when China is forcing people to take vaccines against their wishes. And here's footage of someone refusing to take a CCP virus test. It's called compliance with Chinese characteristics. What else can we learn from China? Oh, how about the efficient way they stop the spread of the virus by sealing people in their apartments with iron bars across their doors. When that's not enough, they seal off entire neighborhoods, like this one in Wuhan, where officials put up walls with barbed wire to keep everyone in. Here you can see someone soldering the gates shut. Local authorities promise their citizens they'll provide all the essentials, like food during a COVID lockdown. But as I talked about in this video from February, that promise is not always kept. This guy got arrested for complaining about starving. And really, that's his own fault. He should have been praising the Communist Party. 
Starving people is what communists do best. But with the Delta variant spreading in China now, Chinese authorities are taking an even harsher approach than this. Or this. And videos of it have been leaked online. I'll show you after the break. Welcome back. There are just so many ways we in the West can learn from the Chinese Communist Party's response to COVID. In the beginning of the pandemic, we all heard news about how China built two coronavirus hospitals in just over a week. But it turns out they weren't really hospitals, they were just massive quarantine centers. This quarantine center in Wuhan looks pretty nice, since it was meant to be photographed by the press. But secret video from the city of Jingmen shows a hastily built quarantine camp with bars on each window. This is the quarantine, 21 days here. You see the bathroom? They gave us two cases of water. Here's one bed and a table to eat on. These rooms are enough to make a person go mad. I'd be sending messages for help in a bottle, or fishing for bottles because I ran out of water. If you thought that was bad, it gets so much worse. Here's another quarantine camp. Hot, sweaty, and definitely not very sanitary. It makes the other quarantine spaces look like vacation resorts. And it's not like the people there are criminals, they're just people who got infected with a virus they can't control. The Chinese Communist Party can't control the virus either, clearly. But at least they can control people. You can try to run, but there's nowhere to hide. So what can the West really learn from China's COVID response? That we should not be learning from China. Now it's time for me to answer a question from you, a fan who supports China Uncensored through the crowdfunding website, Patreon. Alejandro asks, if the bat coronavirus was funded in big part by the US, how come the CCP hasn't said anything about it or the Wuhan lab? Why did they not make any of these scientists disappear? Good question, Alejandro. The funding issue is complicated. The US government, through the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, funded a group called EcoHealth Alliance. And EcoHealth Alliance then subcontracted to the Wuhan Institute of Virology. While you can criticize the US government for letting taxpayer money find its way to a Chinese lab with low safety standards, the real problem is the Chinese lab with low safety standards. That's the part the CCP won't admit. To expose US funding would be to admit the lab leak hypothesis is true. As for making scientists disappear, there's no need. It's much better if the lead scientist can be free to give a sympathetic interview in Western press where she can defend the lab and deny everything. Positive propaganda works so much better. Thanks for your question, Alejandro, and thank you for watching. Be like Alejandro and help us keep making episodes like this by contributing through Patreon, our crowdfunding website. Visit patreon.com slash China Uncensored to learn more. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching China Uncensored.